In this video series, we are going to be making a little game in Python called Turtle Race, where you've got four turtles that pretty much race along the screen, moving at different speeds, and eventually they'll hit the finish line and we'll have ourselves a winner. Alrighty, so we're going to use Python's turtle module to do this. And to get started, I'm going to need you to open up Python and make yourself a new file. Once you're in the new file, I'm going to just import a few things to start with. So we're going to import the time function, because we'll be freezing our code uh, for a very short while. Later on, we're going to be importing all the turtle functions there. And we're going to write in from turtle, import turtle with a capital T. That's a special function inside of that turtle module there. And we're also going to um, write from random, so from the random module, we're going to import a special function called randint, which stands for random integer. And that's going to allow our turtles to move at random speeds each, each time we run the code. Okay, so that's everything we're importing. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to put in a hashtag for a comment, and we're going to write in window setup. So when we run the code, a window is going to appear on the screen in which our game is going to run. So we just want to set that up and make it look good. So I'm just going to write window as a variable here is equal to turtle.screen bracket bracket. So, okay, so we've created a variable called window, and that's equal to the screen that pops up. So, okay, so the little window that pops up when we run the code is now called window. It's got a name. Um, after that, we're going to go window.title and we're going to give that window a title called turtle race now we haven't used that before so I'm not going to press control s to save this uh, I'll just save over one of my old ones there oops I've already got one open called that let me just close a few of these off I'll just try saving that again Okay, and now I'm going to run it by pressing F5 and show you what this window.title does. Okay, the window pops up, and you can see at the top now we've got a title called Turtle Race. Alrighty, so that's just a cool little feature you can add into your um, apps from now on. Uh, next thing we're going to do is change the background color, so turtle.bg color. And we're going to change it to a forest green. And then we're going to change the turtle dot color because we want to put some text on the screen in a moment and we're going to make that text white okay um, after that we're going to do turtle dot speed and set it to zero so any drawings we put on the screen at the moment should appear instantaneously we won't see a little animation and watch them get drawn and then we're going to do turtle dot pen up and the reason we're lifting our pen up off the paper or off the page is because we want to move our turtle to a different position to what it currently is. When we run the program, let me just save it and run it again. Okay, you can see our green background there. The turtle's sitting right in the middle of the page and its coordinates at the, at the moment are 0, 0. So it's at position 0 on the x-axis and 0 on the y-axis. Okay, so we're going to move it from that position. So we will write turtle.setPos, which stands for set position. We're going to set it to minus 140 for the x-axis and 200 for the y-axis. By setting it into the negatives for the x, that's going to move it to the left of the page. And by setting it into the positives there for the y, it's just going to move it up the page. Okay, so we set the position there. Now we can actually write something on the screen. So we'll do turtle.write. And we're going to give it a title called Turtle Race. And close those quotation marks and put a comma. What we're going to do now is just format that title a little bit. So we're going to write font equals. And in brackets, we're going to write Arial in quotation marks and put a comma. We're going to put the size of our font as 30 and put a comma. And we're just going to make it bold. Okay, close that bracket and then close the second bracket as well. And finally, on the next line, we're just going to do turtle.pen up, just to lift our pen back up off the page. Don't forget the two brackets at the end of that line. So if we save now by pressing Control s and then F5 to run it, you can see that our little turtle here, this little arrow is our turtle, has jumped up to this position, and it's written in Turtle Race for us across the top of the screen as a heading. Okay, so so far we are looking good. That's our window set up. Next thing I'm going to do is just add some dirt to the bottom of the page. So I'm just going to put in another hashtag here. 
than right dirt. This is just a bit of decoration to make our um, game look a little bit more exciting, even though it doesn't really do that. But anyway, we're going to write turtle.setpos. So we're going to set the new position as minus 400. So that's all the way to the left of the page. Put a comma and set it to minus 180. So that's down towards the bottom of the page. We're then going to change our turtle.color to a brown color. Okay, the color I'm going to roll with is this brown here, the chocolate color. So in quotation marks, I'll just write in chocolate. Close that bracket. On the next line, we're going to do turtle.begin underscore fill bracket bracket, which means we're about to draw a shape and we want it filled in with the color above, which is chocolate. Okay, so now that we've begun our fill, we can put the turtle's pen back down, so turtle.pen down, bracket, bracket. So it's back on the page, ready to draw. And we're going to draw forward 800 pixels. And then we're going to turn right, so turtle.right at a 90 degree angle. So it's taking an L-shaped kind of turn. Then we're going to do turtle.forward again, and this time it's going to be 300. Turtle dot right, so we're turning again at a 90 degree angle. Turtle dot forward, about 800 forward again. Turtle dot right, 90 degrees, and then we'll do turtle dot forward, another 300 degrees, and to finish off with, we'll just do turtle dot end underscore fill bracket bracket. That code just in that little section there will draw us a chocolate colored rectangle on the screen. So control S to save, F5 to run, and there is our chocolate colored rectangle down the bottom, which is representing the dirt in this game. And obviously the green is for the grass. All right, so the dirt's done. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put in a finish line. Now this finish line that we put in, it's a little bit tricky to do. Okay, a lot of what we're gonna write here it's probably not going to make sense. It doesn't even make sense to me. I just flogged it off the internet. Somebody else had done it, and I like the looks of it, so I copied it. Okay, so put in the comment um, finish line. We need to set a few variables first. So the first one we're going to set is the stamp underscore size. That's going to be equal to 20. Then we're going to do square underscore size. Equal that to 15. And then the finish underscore line will be equal to 200. Okay, so basically we're going to draw this finish line with little um, squares. Okay, and the finish line is going to be about 200 pixels long running up, down the page. So after we've got those variables set, what we're going to do now is change our turtle color to black. So it's going to be a black checkered finish line. And then the turtle dot shape is going to be a square. We're using little squares for our checkerboard finish line. Now this is where it starts to get a bit confusing, so just copy what I write. Turtle dot shape size. Um, and then in brackets here, we're going to write square underscore size. Okay, so that's 15. And we're going to divide that by the stamp underscore size. Okay, so that's 20. So it's basically turtle dot shape size is going to be 15 divided by 20, so that's going to be some random number. And then we're going to go turtle.pen up, bracket, bracket. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to draw in the actual finish line now using a couple of for loops. So I'm going to draw one column of the finish line by writing in 4i in range, and we're going to do 10. And then put a colon. So I'm going to draw 10 little squares down the page, which will represent the start of our finish line. Okay, inside the loop we're going to write turtle.setPos. So we're moving our turtle to this position. So it's going to be finish underscore line, comma, and then a bracket, 150 take away bracket i times square underscore size, and then times that by 2, and close your three brackets. I told you that wasn't going to make any sense whatsoever, so just write it in, copy what I've got, and hopefully things will work fine. On the next line, I'm just going to write turtle.stamp, bracket, bracket. I'm going to save what I've got, and just run that code, make sure I've got no errors, and you can see the first part of our finish line. 
Okay, this is our little checkerboard box. And you can see they're all evenly spaced out. Looking good. We're just going to add one more column there. So another row of checkers down the other side. So what we need to do is jump out of that loop and go back to the left side of the page. And we'll just make a second loop now. We'll just call this one J the variable. So for J in range 10. Now it's pretty similar to what we just did. Just a couple of um, new bits added to it. So I won't copy and paste. I'll actually write it in from scratch. Oops, I forgot to put a colon at the end there. So on the next line, let's do turtle. Got set pause. So moving to a new position. It'll be finish underscore line plus the square size. I'm actually putting underscores under the, all these words here. Uh, so finish line plus square size, comma, bracket bracket, 150 minus the square underscore size. Close that first bracket, put a minus in, open up a new set of brackets, it'll be J times the square size, remembering the underscore there, times by 2, and close the three brackets. Okay, another confusing one. On the next line, just write turtle.stamp, bracket bracket. You can then get out of that loop and just write turtle.hide turtle. That last line there, you might have noticed when you're drawing using the turtle, a little arrow follows your mouse cursor or follows the drawing. If you just hide that turtle, let's spell that right actually, um, the little arrow will disappear. So if I just press Ctrl S to save that, F5 to run it. I've got our background, we've got our finish line, we've got our two headings. We're looking good. Okay, so I'm going to stop the video here and I'll catch you in the second video where we get the turtles racing.